Yeah, one of the biggest comments I get from people is how I grew my arms and I honestly think it's not like that complex. If you know the basics and you know the right exercises to do, then you're kind of set. And this goes with every muscle group, but I think my arms are somewhat of a strong point. So I think the tips I got will help you guys a lot. So first of all, you want a heavier movement like a standing straight bar bicep curl. And with these, these are typically your heaviest bicep exercise. So you want to start off with these. And the main goal is to not be all strict with these. The main goal is to hit your whole bicep and treat it like a primary exercise to build mass on your whole bicep, right? So with these, don't be afraid to, you know, cheat a little bit, use some momentum, you know, like get mad, like, <sighs> and the reason you're going to be using a straight bar and not like some dumbbell curls, because with the straight bar, it's a lot easier to progressive overload on. And the progressive overload is going to be like the main driver of how much muscle you build. So yeah, first of all, you want to start off with one heavy movement. And some other exercises that you throw in for biceps that are really, really good are incline dumbbell curls and crossbody hammer curls too, which you all see in the workout. And with all these bicep exercises, you're hitting all the muscle groups in the biceps. This way, like your short head won't be lacking and your long head will be more dominant. You know, everything will be evened out and you'll have some balanced, nice looking biceps. All right, you guys, when we're talking about arms, we for sure got to talk about the triceps too. What you want to do is start off with a heavy movement. And for me, I'd be going crazy on the tricep press down. So I'll go mad heavy. I'll almost be the full stack in that bitch. I'll be... <sighs> and by the way, you guys, I might be exaggerating like how heavy and how like unstrict you should go. Obviously keep good form. Don't be a dumbass and just fuck it. And like, you feel me? Don't be doing this crazy shit. Like when I mean don't stay super strict, like you don't gotta be like, you feel me? Like that's, that's whack, you feel me? That's lame. You wanna go a little bit heavy, come up a little bit, extend your tricep right here, come down, all right? And you could use a little bit of momentum too, especially in your last few reps when it's getting hard. Don't take what I'm saying like out of What's it called? I don't know, like out of a... Get, you guys get what I'm saying, all right? Don't, you just watch some of my videos, watch, see how I train. Don't be training like all crazy, okay? Because I'm saying, don't be strict, like, don't, come on now. Yeah, with the heavy triceps press down, it's gonna hit your whole tricep. So yeah, on this exercise too, you wanna mainly focus on progressive overload and just going a little bit heavier because this is overall just like a mass builder on your whole tricep. And you also wanna be doing cable kickbacks too, so like the tricep press downs will work all of your heads, but they do have some emphasis on your lateral head. And it'll also get you some nice development in your long head too, and that's like basically the horseshoe part of the tricep, you know, like the big part of your tricep that stands out the most. So you definitely don't want to sleep on that. If you want them triceps where you just flex your arm and that shit just, whoosh, just engulfs your shit, like make sure you're doing your kickbacks, make sure you're doing your heavy press downs. And honestly, like I don't be doing too much besides that when it comes to triceps. Like I'll do close grip bench too, and all the other exercises like shoulder press and everything else will definitely help you get some growth in your triceps. When it comes to arms, you guys, you don't have to be doing like four exercises per workout, you know, per per bicep or per tricep, you know. Keep it simple, keep it pretty much to a minimum, hit your compounds, and when you do the isolations, make sure you really focus on mind-muscle connection. You can also do overhead extensions too, but I've never really been a big fan of those, so um, you don't really have to, you feel me? If you're a fan of those, then go ahead. But yeah, these are just the exercises that I do and the exercises that I know will get you some fat-ass triceps. But that is pretty much it, you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna hit the gym right now. I'm gonna show you guys some examples of what I'm gonna be doing. If you guys want like a shoulder tip video or like lat tip video, like let me know. I'll put y'all on. On all this game, I got an infinite game of spit, all right?